Welcome back to Definitely Not Definitive. I'm Ken. And I'm Bethany. We're just an epic duo in love. We love some epic rap battles of history. Yes, we do. And uh, Epic Lloyd actually stopped by the channel and uh, dropped a couple comments on some of our videos, watched it, and so I think that's really cool. Thank you. Yeah, appreciate that a lot when uh, creators come and you know and check out reactions to the, to the to their work and everything. And so yeah, that was that was really cool. Really appreciate that. Because it's Christmas, we are going to check out Moses versus Santa Claus. And uh, the way we do Epic Rap Battles of History here is we're going to watch it the first time just, you know, for fun, like, you know, like, like everybody else would like, like you want to, like it was intended. And then we'll go ahead and score each round afterwards and say who we thought won. And it, uh, you might be able to see our uh, little fur baby here, Abby. Um, she's joining us as well. She loves Epic Rap Battles of History. As, you know. She does. She likes a good fight. <laughs> yeah, exactly. If you want all of our Epic Rap Battles of History reactions, go ahead and check out the description of this video. We got a playlist there for you. Yes, we do. Santa Claus! Sweet robes, oh man, one too many days in the sun. Stop oh. watching, homie, teach your flock to cover some fun. I bring joy every year, man, I represent cheer. You represent sandals and a scraggly beard. I'm from the North Pole, that's why my rhymes are so cold. <laughs> diamonds, but I'm serving up some fresh coal. You been a naughty boy, you brought a plague of frogs. You best arrest yourself, you broke your whole law. Oh, oh was there something in rule six I didn't understand? My list says kill the gypsy too, buried him in sand. <laughs> I read your book, you got a strict religion. No bacon, but mandatory circumcision. <laughs> jelly, give it holiday press, but all the chosen people ever get for Christmas is jealous. Ooh. When I was high upon the mountain, God Stoop revealed dog. the truth of the earth, but he never mentioned a fat ass papa. Just <laughs> <laughs> of all your fat ass, you took the price out of Christmas and just added more mass. You need to stop breaking the houses and creeping and peeping on naughty kids while they sleeping and keep your hands off my stocking. Don't you ho ho me? I split your ass in half like I did the red sea. You ain't a saint, you a slave, like a pharaoh in the Ooh. snow. Stop with the unpaid labor and let <laughs> little people go. Yeah. Turn your brains to mush. I think you need to stop smoking all that burning bush. <laughs> <laughs> magical workers, man. We hang with brain kids. Yo, here's a GPS. Who gets lost for forty years? <laughs> secretary, so write this down. We got these nuts. Santa Claus is coming to town. So much drama in the Israel BC. It's kind of hard talking directly to the Gigo single D. Yes. Can't meet my chisel. I got a new command missile for y'all. Thou should not let children sit on a grown man's lap at the mall. I'll beat you ten times before the bread can rise. You dummy. <laughs> walk off into the land of my milk and honey. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so uh, that was going to be uh, it's gonna be a tough one to, to score. I, I mean, it might, it might not be as tough as, I, as you think. Yeah. For me. <laughs> Let's go. We'll see. Sweet robes, oh man, one too many days in the sun. Stop preaching, homie. Teach your flock to cover some fun. I bring joy every year, man. I represent cheer. You represent <laughs> sandals and a scraggly beard. I'm from the North Pole. That's why my rhymes are so cold. I'm <laughs> diamonds, but I'm serving up some fresh coal. You been a naughty boy. You brought a plague of frogs. You best arrest yourself. You broke your own law. Oh, was there something in rule six I didn't understand? My list says kill the gypsy too. Bury him in sand. I read your book. You got a strict religion. No bacon, but mandatory circumcision. I'm a jolly full of jelly, giving holiday presents. But all the chosen people ever get for Christmas is jealous. <laughs> When I was high upon the mountain, God revealed the truths of the earth, but he never mentioned a fat ass papa. Here's to all your fat ass. You took the price out of Christmas and just added a moment. Stop breaking the houses and creeping and peeping on naughty kids while they sleeping and keep your hands off my stocking. Don't you go hold me. I split your ass in half like I did the Red Sea. You ain't a saint, you a slaver like a pharaoh in the street. Stop with the unpaid labor and let my little people go. <laughs> Uh, Moses. I mean, yeah, come on, it's Snoop Dogg. Yeah, yeah, I, I thought it was going to be tough to score because, I mean, like, it's going to be so tough to, like, not have uh, a little bit of a bias towards uh, towards Snoop Dogg in, uh, in this one. I think it's awesome that uh, Snoop Dogg did this. Yes. Um, that's very cool. Uh, they got him for this one. And, um, but to the lines themselves, uh, Santa had some good lines, you know, yeah. um, talking about how, uh, you know, Moses broke his own law and like a guy put him on his naughty list because of that. And uh, he spits diamonds, but he's uh, giving out uh, coal. Yeah. Um, so his lines are really, yeah. So Santa had some great lines, but um, I mean, Snoop Dogg's flow and his his rhymes, I think were just like, I don't know, just cut a little bit harder. He's talking about the slave labor and. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna negate 
flow and style points because I think it's gonna be very tough to beat Snoop Dogg yeah. on that. Um, this this is his world. So, like, <laughs> you're not gonna you're not gonna outdo him in it. Just looking at the lyrics themselves, Santa came out strong. Mm-hmm. Um, I like his his thing about like. Why his why his rhymes were so cold? Yeah, yeah, because it's not cold. cold yeah. I thought the the thing about no bacon but mandatory circumcision, like ooh, that was yep, that was a good one. But Moses came back and and like pulled no punches, mm-hmm. um, and and I think made some very valid points as well. Maybe it's because I'm not, I don't know, like Santa's everywhere this time of year, so like like it's so easy to be top of mind and like latch mm-hmm. on to anything Santa says because we're like inundated in it from like October 31st on. For Moses, it just wasn't so top of mind in my brain. So I was very impressed by how much he was able to bring back to the table Mm. Um, because I just don't think I came in with expectations. Whereas like at Christmas time, a Santa thing, I'm like, I'm coming in with expectations. Like Santa better deliver. That's crazy. So much drama in the Israel BC is kind of hard talking directly to the Gigo single D. Hand me my chisel, I got a new command chisel for y'all. Thou should not let children sit on a grown man's lap at the bottom. Ten times before the bread can rise, you dummy, and walk off into the land of my milk and honey. He had a great walk off line there. He did. Uh, that was that was fun. Um, yeah, I mean, I guess overall, I give it I, I give it to Moses. Um, but I think in that one, uh, Santa had a better uh, Santa. Santa was closer in that in that one almost. I would almost almost give that one to, to to that last one to Santa. I don't know the whole like let kids sit on a grown man's lap and. Uh, yeah, I, I don't know. For me, it was it was still just very much Moses all the way. But the who gets lost for forty years? That, that was, was good. That, that was, was good great. Line. That one was that that one was why I think I would probably give that round to Santa. But uh, overall, I mean, like you know, I mean, Moses is walking off with the <laughs> I'm looking I'm looking honeys. I think they talked about you know he's just a glorified secretary because he's just writing down what God uh, tells him. That's true. So I thought that was another good one from Santa. So I thought Santa's uh, second one was a lot more hard hitting, and then. The one for Moses was kind of just more leaning into the fact that like this is Snoop Dogg, so we gotta talk about like you know like <laughs> get some of his epic lines yep. in there, some of his iconic lines in there, and uh, dropping the izzles and the <laughs> yeah. So that was that's why I think that like if we're just going by the lines that uh, that I think Santa's hit a little bit harder on the, in the second verse um, versus Moses, but I mean. You know, Moses was Snoop Dogg, so in the end, I give it to Moses. <laughs> yeah, this was, I, I really enjoyed this. They There aren't, in the ones that we've seen, many, like, religious-based ones that come up in epic rap battles. Mm. I think the only other one I can think of is Adam and Eve yeah. that we've seen, which was really enjoyable. And I kind of wonder if this would have been as good if it hadn't been for Snoop Dogg. Because um, I think the, the strength of his celebrity appearance in it just lent so much, whereas, like, the the battle itself between Adam and Eve, I think I got much more into because mm, okay. of of the the dialogue and I don't know maybe the battle of the genders, but like it just kind of as a as a rap itself that one I think I I got sucked into more and was like more invested in and empathized with versus this one where I think I was a little bit more removed from it. So my my wheel into the world was Snoop Dogg. Well, I think also because like you know it's Snoop Dogg kind of like overshadowed the, the the lines a little bit and and everything else because you're like oh my god this is Snoop Dogg it's and he's an epic rap battle history. <laughs> yeah. uh, so I think that's one of the things where it was um, you know like it would be cu- curious like you know how it would have played out uh, if it if it hadn't been Snoop Dogg if someone else had had done Moses and um, you know how how would the they would have changed it up a little bit because you know you, like that second verse. Well, they wouldn't have worked if it was somebody else, you know. They, they probably would have written it differently. Yeah. Um. So, but like you know, when you got got Snoop Dogg, you got to take full advantage of it. Absolutely. Uh, you let us know what you thought about this down below in the comments and who you thought won. And if you want more of our epic rap battles of history reactions, go ahead and check out the description of this video. We got a playlist there for you. Merry Christmas, everybody! Hope Merry you all Christmas. have a great weekend. And thanks so much for checking out our reaction for epic rap battles of history: Santa Claus versus Moses. But just keep in mind that our reaction is definitely not definitive. <laughs>